In the early 70s, American band Dr. Hook wrote and recorded this song specifically designed to get their picture cover of the rolling stone. It did the trick within a few months, and that edition is now one of 300 being displayed at Artisan in Brisbane's Fortitude Valley. The magazine had humble beginnings in the United States in 1967, and five years later, it launched in Australia. We're walking through a chronology of culture and time, but it's also a chronology of design, which is really interesting. And people walk in and immediately engage with something. It's whatever happened to so-and-so, or they're remembering an important time in their life. There's a lot of skin in this game, and according to editor Matthew Coit, as social values change, so does the magazine. I think Rolling Stone's always been a conduit for popular culture. Um, be that politics, or music, film, art. Some of the world's best illustrators and photographers have worked on this publication because by far the most critical component is the cover. This photograph was taken by the famous Annie Leibovitz only about 24 hours before the Beatle was gunned down outside his own apartment. The cover had such an impact that in 2005 the magazine industry voted it the best magazine cover ever. And they're not always photographs, at least not in the traditional sense. I really like the Simpsons covers. It's a, these are covers about great album covers, which is another terrific, witty take on it. The exhibition is free and it's on till early October. Craig Berkman, ABC News, Brisbane. Weather time now and the rain band that's what.